Insomnia is one of the most common sleep disorders in the world. It's often triggered by stressful or traumatic life events, such as a breakup or even a global pandemic. In fact, a recent international study found very high rates of insomnia symptoms during the first wave of COVID-19, about twice as high as those typically reported in non-pandemic times. It's actually quite normal to have some occasional nights that you don't sleep well, but for someone with insomnia, they often have trouble sleeping even when they are having enough kind of opportunity to sleep or in a quiet and comfortable environment. People with insomnia can also develop unhelpful behaviours, such as going to bed too early or catastrophizing about a poor night's sleep. This can make it harder to fall asleep in the long run. That's why some experts recommend psychological treatments like cognitive behavioural therapy for insomnia. Compared to sleep medication, hypnotic medication, it is really as effective in the short term. And of course, it's much better in the longer term because it gives people the tools and skills to manage their own sleep. But even small habit changes can make a difference. If you get up around the same time, that's going to really help making your body clock or the circadian rhythm more consistent over time because our body clock is tuned by the light, the first ray of sunshine that gets into our eyes that tunes our clock. And so if you're able to get bright light when you wake up first thing in the morning, that can be fantastic for tuning the clock. Experts also advise spending less awake time in bed and avoiding sleep when you're feeling alert or agitated. These simple strategies may be the key to getting a good night's rest. The Australian Academy of Science. Because questions need answers.